And here we are at the Ian Potter Foundation Children's Garden. It's actually one of the newest attractions here at the Botanical Gardens. Inside is a world far away from everything else. There are rocks to climb on. There are bamboo forests to play in and get lost, lost or lost in. There's also fabulous plant tunnels to climb through. It's a world of fun away from everything else. In the Royal Botanical Gardens, there are over 12,000 species of plants. As you can see around me, there's fabulous ferns that grow around. This particular fern is called the Leucomitis fern. Now you may notice that they're a little bit yellow in colour. However, that's because they survive in a much warmer climate, such as Queensland. But the best part about this place, as you can see, are the many passageways and paths that you can explore and see the fabulous things that this place has to offer. Now we're here inside the garden and we're right here near the ancient rock formations and Ranger Simon is here to tell us a little bit more about them. Simon. Can you tell us a bit about the rock formations? Sure can, Chantel. The rock formations we have here are some that are from the western districts of Victoria, which um, are some of the last volcanic uh, parts of Australia, actually. The last volcanic eruptions only happened about 8,000 years ago. So, see a lot of these rock formations. These would have been at the time when indigenous tribes were living in that part of uh, Australia. And what we've done here is taking them there as an example of some of the things that are here in parts of Victoria, and also we've got over in the eastern parts too, a different type of rock. And you know, like with the gold fields, where it's quite sandy and rocky and the quartzy stuff. So we've got that another part, but here we try and really show, um, you know, some of the parts here in the steam. Well, it just looks good for the kids, so we thought we'd include that too. Now, Simon, Ranger Simon, I can see there's a lot of steam around. Can you give us an idea as to, to why this is why this is so? Well, as I said, I think it's good for the kids. These are going on the old age, but that's a bit better. Um, I, I see it's important. Uh, we thought the steam would be good because it does also show the mistiness of, of the parts and, you know, with the eucalypts and being here uh, in, in, in the southern part of Australia, it does give a good representation of what it's like in the mornings here. So um, it's great. The yeah. kids like it. Yeah. Fabulous. All right. Thanks, Ranger Simon. Now we're here with Leo, who's showing us around the garden here and is just going to give us a little bit of an idea about what's right here in this vegetable patch. Now, Leo, can you tell me what are some of the things we've got in the garden here? Leaves, yeah. Violets. Are they the, they're the purple ones there, aren't they? Oh, okay. And what else have we got? Celery. Celery, wow. That's great. So as you can see, there's a whole variety of plants and vegetables here in the garden. Now we come to the end of the day in the garden. It's been a good day's work. If you want any more information, just check out the Totally Wild website.